Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use the direction editor in MapWare Studio. So let's go to the studio. And here, I'm in the direction section. So I see the map of my building with the path that the user can take and that are represented by a graph with nodes and lines. So I have two modes, the selection and move mode and then the draw mode. When I'm in select, I can take a node, for example, and move it. And I can also take a segment and then see all the different attributes that are in there. So I can deactivate a segment temporarily. I can also set it to be a one-way direction, potentially choosing which way that direction is. And I can also add a penalty. A penalty is an extra number of seconds that uh, you believe the a user will need to go through a, a path. And it will make the algorithm to try to choose another path if it's can to uh, actually prevent the user from using that path. Um, I can also specify which mode it is. So for example, if there is a step, I could say that for the accessibility mode uh, for people with disabilities, this will not be a path that they are allowed to, allowed to take. I can also use the draw mode to start drawing and connect all those different uh, areas inside of, the, uh, inside of the building, potentially going through and then creating uh, a complete network of directions that the user could go to. Whenever you went to that draw mode, the attributes that will be set by default are those that are here. So don't hesitate before you start editing to select the attributes that you want to have on your directions. You also have a few shortcuts there uh, as keyboard shortcuts that allows you to switch from the select mode to the draw mode, for example, just by using the, the keyboard. Now, when you are here and you would say, okay, let's try to create that elevator, then I will go into the draw mode and I will connect to my graph and then create a specific node that I will attach to the elevator. I'll go back to the select and select the node and then I will attach it to a connector. I see that there are already some connectors in my building, but they're already used on that floor. So I'll create a new collector that I will name um, elevator two, for example, and that's going to be a type elevator. It goes in both directions. Those are the time that you usually need to wait to get the elevator to arrive and then the time per floor. And that's used to favor, for example, the stairs when you need to go only one floor up or down and the elevator when you need to go many, many floors up or down. You can also set a specific icon if you want to, uh, zoom visibility, and then what mode they are accessible to. So for example, if you say this is only for people with disabilities, I will disable the other, the other mode. So I can save that. And so the connector is created here. I see that I will want to go into the other floor and then also connect it there. So here, what I will do is that I will go and draw the exact same connection. And then on this one, I will select the node and then connect it to the elevator two. And that will make the link between both elevators. I can also, in the elevator menu, see which floor they are attached to and potentially add or remove those floors from, from other floors. And that's specifically interesting when I have towers with a lot of floors crossed by the same elevator, for example. I can use those menus here to manage the connectors, for example, and create or, or delete all the elevators and stairs that I have inside of my building and i also have the option to batch edit those connectors that will um, allow me to download an excel file um, that i can modify uh, offline in excel and then re-upload for me to uh, create all those modifications in in one go so i will not leave that right now um, and then i can also manage my modes uh, and so those are different way of moving across the building so by default we have uh, the default mode and then um, reduce mobility. But I could also say that I want to be able to bike, for example, inside of my building. And so here we'll just take a, a bike icon and see that by default, I bike at 15 kilometers an hour in my building. So that's just so that the time is computed from the, from the distance. So I can save that. And then whenever I will go here, I will be able to select which one is actually allowed to use the bike. Now, if I want, I can also use the select options. Uh, and so using the uh, upper key keyboard to then draw 
a complete line and select a lot of different uh, areas inside of my building to make a global selection and then say all of that that's actually allowed for bikes so that's a way to really batch edit all your directions very easily so that's it now that we have all of that we can actually use that into the direction for the direction engine thanks for watching